With the state of everything that's going on right now, uh, especially out here in Los Angeles, the pandemic is getting a lot worse every day. I think yesterday was 2,000 people who reported that got reportedly got sick. Um, I celebrated my birthday early. My birthday is September 10th, but um, I wanted to celebrate it early and get my buying out the way early for my birthday because I have a I have a feeling that maybe within probably another month or so things are going to shut back down and get really strict out here in Los Angeles specifically. So what I did was I went to toy uh, sorry Frank and Sons Toys and Collectibles and I also went to Cali Games yesterday and I did some pretty heavy pickups. So and uh, it's going to be really cool. So I hope you guys stick around and uh, watch. Let's go. What it is guys this is your boy king mike d games coming at you with another video and again i'm going to be doing my pickups that i did yesterday now since the last time i seen you guys i got a, quite a few things of course like always i always have something to show you guys um so i'm just gonna start it off really quick uh, the first thing i got was this wwe encyclopedia right here now a lot of you guys probably like what wrestling what's going on I'm a big fan of wrestling, not now so much, but the golden uh, years and the Attitude Era and the Ruthless Aggression Era, the early 2000s, was the best time to me. So uh, I got it to look up you know, certain things with certain wrestlers, certain achievements. And it's a pretty extensive book. It's a pretty thick book. It has a lot of information in there, so I'm really happy to get that. And this is the new edition, so it's been updated. Next up. I have right here these three Run DMC Pop Funko figures, as you guys can see. I think they are so cool. It is so awesome. If you know Run DMC, this is like their signature look. This is their signature signature style. Rev Run has the hand out. When he raps, he always has his hand out right there. You got DMC signature glasses right there, hands on his hip. And, of course, you got Jam Master J in the background on the ones and twos right there. Okay, so... The first thing, big thing I'm going to show you guys that I got from Frank and Sons yesterday. And again, Frank and Sons is a huge, basically, if you guys have ever seen a Costco, been into a Costco or a Sam's Club, it's the size of, it, it was an old Costco, actually. Um, so imagine that was being toys, being games, pop figures. I mean, anything you can think of. Um, big gaming statues of figures and movies. I mean, everything. So it was a huge place. I would have recorded things, but... I heard, when I watched some of the videos on YouTube, I've heard people got mad that people recorded. Why, I don't know, because it actually brings um, people to your booth and want to see what you have. Because I remember when I was watching some videos on YouTube, I seen quite a few things that people had on the videos, and I seen it there. And I was like, oh, I seen it on YouTube. So the first thing I got was this. This big, huge Xbox sign. Of course, it's where all my Xbox stuff is, as you can see. Um, so very happy to have this. Um, I forget the guy's name. I'm never going to tag him in this video. Um, he had a booth over there. And it's not, it doesn't light up, but if I put a light behind there in the area of that X uh, symbol right there, it will. Um, so he was saying he's starting to make more of his acrylic signs uh, light up or where you can be able to put like a backlight and it will light the whole sign up. But this one does not do that. So um, there is the first one. Next one I got is this big PlayStation one right here. Now this one, it does not light up, but it's the PlayStation uh, words, as you can see right there, if there's a light in the back of it, it will light up the uh, PlayStation sign. I tried it yesterday and it did light up. So very happy to get this because it, of course it displays my Xbox side and this displays my PlayStation side. And eventually I'm going to have to get a um, Nintendo one. He has one, but I want to hold off on it because I just literally have no space in here. Um, what else? Let's move on to, let me see. One of the other things that I got from, uh, Frank and Sons Toys and Collectibles is this, um, Jason. Well, this is from Freddy versus Jason, um, statue, little mini statue toy right here. And it is pretty cool. I like it because it is so detailed. It is very detailed. And he has three masks right here. The one he's wearing, this one where Freddy slashed it. And um, he has this bloody one right here. And I, I just love it. And eventually, I'm not going to do it now, but eventually they're going to be in the display case next to my mask. So that will be pretty, pretty cool. I'm looking forward to doing that. So here is this right here. Let me move this to the side. Next up from Frankenstein's Toys and Collectibles, I got this Halloween little mini statue right here. And uh, this costs $120. 
it was well worth it to me because of course you guys know i have the um frank uh, sorry i was going to say frank castle the uh, nick castle uh signed mask right there so i had to get the figure to go along with it and of course this figure is going to go right next to that and it is so detailed i mean it is i mean you can't really see because of the glare but eventually i'm going to um take it out and put it in there next to the mask right there it is just so awesome to have this right here and how detailed they the time and work they put into it it's just so awesome to me it is pretty cool I was trying to find a Jason one of like the same size, but they said they have not made it yet. So you guys see the big size difference. It's a big size difference. It is. But I'm still going to put that one next to the uh, Jason. I want to put this next to the Michael Myers. So I'm going to put this to the side. I want to make no mess. I'm always dropping stuff. So again, I went to Cali Games and I went to uh, Frank and Sons. I don't remember where, what I bought from where. Some of the stuff I do. So I'm going to just show a mixture of the games, and I'll say where I got it from. First one I got right here, Scooby-Doo Mystery Mayhem. Um, I have another Scooby-Doo game. Uh, I've never played one before, honestly. I've never played a Scooby-Doo game, but um, this is one I did not have, and I got this one at Cali Games. Let me know if you guys played that and how it is. Next up, I have Fantastic Four for the PlayStation 2. I do have Fantastic for the Silver Surfer one for PS2. I did not have this one, or I did have this one. I think I had it for original Xbox, but I did not have it for PS2. So had to add that to the collection. Next up from Cali Games, I got Dark Angel, James Cameron, Dark Angel. You know what? I never got into this uh, show. I remember it, it coming on uh, Fox 11 out here um, in LA. It used to come on Channel 11. I used to always pass it up, but... I didn't have this game, and I wanted to get some shelf fillers. If you guys don't know, my shelf fillers are games that you probably wouldn't play, but it just fills the shelf up. But as you guys can see, I ain't got no room. Well, actually, I got space here and here. But other than that, there's no room. So uh, something's going to have to give. I'm going to have to figure something out uh, to put these somewhere else because you can see I have games like filling over right here. So, um but maybe when I move, I'll buy a bigger shelf. Because by the time I leave here, I know I'm going to have to have a bigger shelf. Because these are just not going to do. It's not going to. It's not going to work. It's going to be. It's too small. It's too small as it is, and I'm still collecting. So I'm going to have to buy some bigger ones. So look for that uh, in the near future. All right. Next up. Oh, I'm not going to show you guys this. I'm going to show you guys that last. I'm going to wait. Next up, I have uh, Tetris Worlds for the PlayStation Two. Uh, I'm a big Tetris fan, if you guys don't know. I love puzzle games. So I love Tetris. I love, uh, what's it, Bubble Bobble, um, Bust the Move, games like that. I love I love those are the games that I just, when I want to relax and just chill out, I'll play those type of games because it's just relaxing to me. I just like playing games like that. So Tetris. I also end up getting this for, um, where is it at? Uh, here it is. I don't want to drop anything. I end up getting it from for uh, Xbox as well. Tetris Worlds. Now, if I'm not mistaken, I remember when the original Xbox first came out, this was one of the original games. If I'm not mistaken, I believe it came in a demo disc. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I really believe it is, though. So, got Tetris World for both consoles. Next up, from Cali Games as well, Transformer the Game. Um, I have a Transformer the Game for um, PSP, but it's not Transformer the Game. It's just another one. Um, so, I don't know... I've never played this one before. I played the one for PSP, and it was pretty cool. So I really like that. I also got two shirts, too, as well, from uh, Frank and Sons. As, I, I might show you guys those. I'm going to show you guys those shirts, too. Next up, Die Hard Vendetta. Um, I'm a huge Die Hard fan. I love the movies. Um, I have Die Hard Trilogy for PlayStation 1. I also have another Die Hard, I believe it's Viva Las Vegas for PlayStation 1. I didn't have this one, surprisingly. I don't remember seeing too much of this one. I don't know how good it is, but if you guys have played this and it's good, let me know. Next up from Cali Games, we got Lowriders. I love Lowriders. I love riding in Lowriders. I like hitting the switches in Lowriders. It's just fun to me. I would like to own a Lowrider one day. That would be pretty fun. I think that would be really cool to have that and be able to show you guys a Lowrider. But I've never seen the game before, I don't think. And this one, I basically, what looking at it, it, looks like car hopping. You're basically car hopping your low rider and seeing who gets the highest score. 
pretty interesting game to say the least. I have a lot of interesting PS2 games and obscure ones as well. Might have to make a video about that. Next up from Cali Games, Jam Pack. No, I did not get this from Cali Games. I got this from Frank and Sons. Um, so I got this at one of the booths in Frank and Sons. Uh, it's a Jam Pack Volume 11 demo disc. Um, these are some of the things that are hard to get sometimes when you're collecting for uh, systems because these came with the system and sometimes they didn't come with the case. They came with the, like a uh, paper case or something like that. So every time I see a jam pack for Xbox or PlayStation, even for PS1 or PS2, I get them because these are sometimes these are the ones that people look out for. They really need this to complete a collection. So that's why I got this one. Next up, I got this one from Cali Games. This is Sega Superstars. Um, and you have to use the eye toy to play this. Um, I didn't know this was even a thing. I was thinking it's probably like, like a Smash Brothers or something like that, but I guess it's different games from these Sega superstars, and you can play them uh, with your PlayStation camera. Uh, if you guys know anything about this, let me know. Alrighty, next up, Cali Games, NFL Street 3. Now, this was the, the cake, or the icing on the cake. I have every NBA Street, and this one completes my uh nfl street because i have nfl street one and two i never had three i never got this one because it was always so expensive to get i don't know why uh it was 30 dollars. i think i paid 30 dollars for this now i think it's a bit much for it but it's always on the on, on high this game specifically i don't know why i don't know if it plays better than the other ones if it's the best one of the series i wouldn't know uh, but i played a lot of nba street nfl street i haven't played too much of it but uh if you guys played this one let me know is it better than nfl street one and two let me know. Let me see. Next up, got this from Cali Games as well. Gladius. Um, yeah, another shelf filler. I have no idea if this game is good or not. If it's cool, I, I have no idea. It's just another shelf filler for me. And you guys know I want to go for a completed Xbox um, collection, so I have to get I have to get games like this. And I'm starting to get so many of these games to where now. It's going to start coming down to the nitty gritty. I'm going to have to start getting a lot of these expensive games because I've I've collected a lot of the three, four, five, six, seven, like eight dollar games. So it's coming down to it. Next up, I got this from Frank and Sons, Jagged Alliance Rage. I have no idea. That's all I can say about this. Uh, I just it looked interesting. It looks like one of those overhead games that you play. Um, let me see. There it goes. Focus. I don't know. It looks interesting say the least i don't have no idea about this game if you guys have played it or know anything about it let me know how it is next up from cali games a series of unfortunate events the lemony snickets uh i i remember seeing this movie when i was a little younger um it's a pretty good movie uh it's pretty cool the game i have no idea about um i know it's jim carrey stars jim carrey if you guys have played this game let me know let me know what it's about Next up, I got this from I got this from Frankenstein's Crackdown Three. Uh, I remember playing Crackdown Two for the 360. Um, I have not played Three. I like this style of game because the graphics it looks like it kind of reminds me of like a comic book style kind of game. So um, I want to definitely give this a spin and see how it is and see if it's better than Crackdown Two. Crackdown Two, I put a lot of hours into that game. I remember playing it a lot. Next up from ooh, what did I, get? I got this from cali games uh i should know because when i see the sticker like this i had to peel it off and like i said i showed you guys i made a video of my whole process of when i buy games especially in bulk it's a whole process i have to take the sticker off i have to start doing a better job actually i just get really lazy because when i buy so many in bulk it gets annoying i have to get i think someone told me goo gone goo gone will get this off but um yeah, it's a whole process. When I get games, I have to take the sticker off, scan them into my app, um, and see, you know, make sure it's complete. If it's complete, I have to make sure I put complete. It's a whole process, and it, it, it's work. It's really work. Um, so if you guys want to collect, just know it's work. And it's definitely my suggestion, if you're going to start collecting, if you have not seen my videos before, I suggest get an app where you guys can. And there goes the uh, donut guy outside, as you guys can hear. Uh, but <laughs> get an app where you can store your games in, okay? It's very important that you do that, especially if you're going to start collecting for the long run because you don't want to go back. Imagine having this collection right here and you have, you're just now getting an app to store your games in. It will be, it'll be a headache. It's so much work. It really is. So just get it out the way early. 
So I got Fatal Fury, Battle Archives Volume One, and this one has a few Fatal Frame. Uh, sorry, Fatal Fury games in here. It has Fatal Fury, Fatal Fury Two, Fatal Fury Special, and Fatal Fury Three: Road to the Final Victory, right there. So that's pretty cool. Glad to have this in my collection. Next up, I got this from Frank and Sons Toys and Collectibles Recore. I've seen this game a few times. Uh, I don't know why I ended up passing up on it. I, don't, I can't remember why, but I just always did when I seen it. I always passed up on it, but got it for a pretty decent deal. And it also came with a um, sticker for your controller right there. So that's pretty cool. Even though I'm not big on stickers on controllers anymore, um, but it came with it nonetheless, which is kind of interesting because usually a used game like this, if you have a code in there, it needs to be used or something with a, a special like thing like this. Usually people take it out at least when they turn the game in, but somebody left it in there. He probably didn't care for uh, controller stickers either. So let's go with the next thing I got. This one was also from Cali Games. Chess Master, again, another chess, uh, another chess, another uh, shelf filler. I do not play chess. Chess is difficult to me. I don't know why. It just is. People have tried to teach me. It just doesn't work. I have no idea why. But uh, Chess Master, right here for the PS2. Next up from Cali Games, I got uh, American Idol Karaoke Evolution Encore. And as you guys know, it's a, definitely a shelf filler. It's a game I probably would never, ever play. Um, it's just something I can get to fill up my shelves when I get my new shelves. Because, again, these are filled up. So I'm going to need space. I'm going to need more space. And when I get more space, my shelves are going to look empty. They might look nice and full. Like I have a big collection now. But trust and believe, once you get another shelf, it makes it look like you have nothing. So the, you're going to need these kind of shelf fillers. Just like this, Pool Paradise. And I'm a big pool fan. Um, I have a pool game, I think, for every system that I have. I like playing pool. I like playing pool in person. I like playing them on the game. Uh, especially the one for PS4. I forgot which pool game it's called, but I play a lot of it when I'm on my PlayStation 4. It's like a game I play when I just want to chill out and relax. So, Pool Paradise. Now, next up, I think I got this from, yeah, I got this from Frank and Sons, Toys and Collectibles. This game saves uh, Game Shark. Um, I don't know why I'm been, I've been pretty big on Game Sharks these days. I guess they remind me of my childhood. I remember going to Blockbuster, buying them, and uh, trying to beat a game for PS1 to be exact. And buying them. And, um, yeah, Game Shark. Would I ever use this now? Probably. If I ever go back and play my old... They need to let these be able to play on their new Xbox consoles. They do a lot of backwards compatibility. If they do this, that would be so cool. But I feel like cheat codes are so outdated now. Like, I remember in the 360 days, when you use a cheat code, you wouldn't get certain achievements. Like, they got really strict on that. I don't know why. So, getting down to the nitty-gritty. I know this has been a very long video, and I did not intend for it to be this long. So, if you're still here rocking with me, thank you. I appreciate you. I'm down to my last five games, and these are going to be the big games. Um, this one, not so much big, but big to me. But, uh, Road Rash 3. Now... I have a Road Rage game for PS4. I guess they didn't own the rights, so they tried to make create their own. But this is a classic game right here. It reminds me of my childhood. Road Rash 3, I think, is one of the best ones in the franchise. I mean, you can do all type of stuff to get people off their bike. Look, somebody has nunchucks right there. Smacking the guy off his bike. It's just a very fun game. And you're going super fast, and you can just crash and burn so fast. Now, I am disappointed it's not complete. Um... It does have, of course, it has a game in there, but it doesn't have the manual. This game alone, I believe, it goes for about $40 to $45 online. Um, but I need to get that manual. I know a few places out here where I can buy manuals. So I want to look out for that. Next up, Friday the 13th, the game, the Ultimate Slasher Edition. Now, this is sealed. I'm leaving it sealed for a couple of reasons. I hope I'm right about this. I have a feeling this game is going to go way up in the future. I might be speaking ahead, but I have a feeling it's going to go way up. Um, I'm not going to open it because, as you guys know, Nintendo doesn't have a lot of rated M games. And for a brutal game like this to be on this system, I think, if I'm not mistaken, correct me if I'm wrong, this is one of the most brutal games for Nintendo. It has to be ever in history. This has to be one of the most brutal games. Um, so I just have a feeling, a theory, that it's going to be worth a lot of money. I'm not going to open this because, of course, I have it for Play, uh, PlayStation 4. I have it for my Xbox as well. So it's just not a need for me to open it. I know how the game plays. I know what it is. I don't need to play it on the go. I don't even play my Nintendo Switch, honestly. 
See, it's right there. It's right there covered up. I don't play it. So there it is right there. Next up, Teen Titans. This game jumps up and down. I think it's the Xbox version that goes for the most. I think this version right here is probably like 40 bucks, 30 bucks maybe. If you guys see this game out in the open, get it. I have not played this game before. Uh, if it's any good, let me know. Because it obviously will go for a lot for a reason. I don't know. Usually it's good. Usually if someone reviews the game and it's bad, the game prices go up. I have no idea. Next up, very happy to get this. Super Smash Bros. Melee. This was on the list for a very long time. And surprisingly, this game has went down in price. This game used to be, I remember, close to... Go for like close to a hundred dollars. Um, it used to be like go for a lot of money. I got it for fifty. So um, pretty. I don't know what's going on with it, but with these games, they shoot up, they shoot down. I have no idea, and I've never played Super Smash Brothers Melee before. But people say this is one of the best ones. So let me know if you guys, if this is the best one, uh, Super Smash Brothers out of all the games. And last up, last up on the list of games I got out of twenty six games, I got Bloody Roar. I remember playing Bloody Roar 1 for the uh, PlayStation 1. And let me tell you guys, this game goes for... I paid $100 for it. This game goes for like two to $300 that I've seen. Um, it's complete in box. The game is like minty. Very mint. Very great condition. Very happy to have this. Um, and like I said, I'm getting to the point in my collection to where... I'm, that's why I'm not doing a lot of pickup videos. You guys don't see me doing a lot of them. Because I'm getting down to my in my collection to where I want to start getting more rare games now. And it's going to cost me a lot more to do. So, um, But it's a good investment. To me, it is. Not to everybody, but to me, it is. So, um, yeah. This game is going for a lot. I even went on eBay and it's ridiculous. Um, the Japanese version is not worth that much. But the American version, for some reason, worth a lot of money. So, very happy to have this in my collection. So, there it is, guys. Here's the collection. This is what I got today. Uh, well, yesterday. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys are continuing to be safe out there. Again, I don't know how the virus is where you're from. But out here, it's getting pretty bad. And again, uh, I wish you guys... Um, wish you guys would be, just be very safe. Sanitize. Sanitize. Wash your hands. Um, and just be safe, okay? Peace out. Love you guys. Until next time, I'm out.